Giant Kodo moment. Hello there, I am Giant Kodo. Welcome to my new Let's Play. Let's Play number 6, I believe. The Legend of Zelda for the NES. Now this is my first Legend of Zelda game on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is the only Legend of Zelda game I've beaten 100%, so... Yeah, I've just beaten in general, actually. The Legend of Zelda. Many years ago, Prince Darkness Ganon stole one of the Triforce with power. Princess Zelda had one of the Triforce with wisdom. She divided it into eight units to hide it from Ganon before she was captured. Go find the eight units Link to save her. And all of the treasures, all the items, heart, heart, cont container heart, fairy, clock, rupee, five rupees, life potion, second potion, letter, food, sword, white sword, Magical sword, magical shield, boomerang, magical boomerang, bomb, bow, arrow, silver arrow, blue candle, red candle, blue ring, red ring, power bracelet, recorder, raft, step water, magical rod, book of magic, key, magical key, map, compass, and of course the Triforce item, the eight. One of the eight units, at least. Please look at the manual for details. I don't have the manual. I'm playing this on an NES emulator just so I have really good quality and stuff. I mean, I was gonna do this on Virtual Console, but like, I also want to try to also finish this Let's Play really fast if I can. Because like, if it's on an emulator, I could actually play it on my dad's without having to bring my Wii over to my dad's, which I've never actually done. I've done that for my Wii for like Super Mario Galaxy, but that was a couple years ago, actually. Maybe three or four years ago. It'd be less than that. Um, I to prove that I beat them this 100%. I did a link as my test file, and uh, it has the magic. He has like a different sword, and that's called the second quest, which is a harder version, which I won't be covering. But yeah, also if you type in Zelda, you can also get the um, magical quest. And set me back to three hearts, no items. I don't even have a wood sword anymore because it's the second quest. It's like a new quest, of course. If you put Zelda as your name, you can automatically do the Zelda quest, the um, second quest without having to beat the game. Let's register my name again. Um, I'm just gonna go with Link. So, let's see here. Let me just go to the L. The I. I hope to finish this project in nine parts. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, register, I guess. And then we gotta go down and select it. Okay, cool. Now we can start an adventure. The first thing you wanna do is go in here and get the wooden sword. Nice. It's interesting. Go alone. Take this. Da 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 da. Like <laughs> we got the wooden sword. It's our first item. Use A to, you know, use it. Of course. Um, if you have perfect health, like perfect health, not even you have to have perfect health. You can't even be missing half a heart. You get these sword lasers, which are really cool. But um, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna hopefully get past the first dungeon in this or first temple, level one temple. Um, in this first part. Of this let's play so let's get started okay we got rupee now as you see there's these ones that are flashing like bl orange and blue or one rupee and if it's a blue rupee then it's fi worth five rupees and that's uh, the, the highest rupee you can get in this game is five rupees and keep in mind that you can only keep carry like 255 oh man i wish i could get that clock you keep in mind that you can only carry like 250 255 rupees in this game there we go i was able to get that would be cool but as I saw, you saw right there, there was a clock, and those stop the enemies from moving from one, for like one little frame or one little scene. Because if I go off to the next scene, it wears off. So make sure not to like go accidentally go to the next scene too fast if you want to keep on using your magical um, stopwatch that you got, or just a stopwatch, I should say. 